In the not too distant future, design, manufacturing, and distribution will reach its economic and environmental limits if we don't change how we produce our products. This is already evident in the rapid depletion of raw materials and in the environmental impact on our planet. This can be seen in examples such as climate change and plastic soup. In our current linear economy, which follows a take make waste approach, the predominant focus is on making money. The linear economy rewards designing products that become obsolete quickly so that new items need to be purchased. This results in a rapid decrease of our stock of raw materials and pollutes our planet. Hence, using raw materials to create new products in pursuit of profits is unsustainable and damaging to the environment. There is, however, a solution. We must adapt and change the way we work by choosing a suitable alternative. A circular economy. The circular economy is an economic system that values our planetary and our environmental boundaries. Just like in nature, a circular economy aims to follow the 3R approach – reduce, reuse and recycle. Creating products that last, can be repaired and can be recycled to reduce unnecessary use of resources. In a circular economy, products and materials keep their value throughout their life cycle, retaining value for the planet and our pockets. Let's look at a good example of circularity. Target, a company specialised in flooring, is using several circular principles. They collect and recycle used floors from their customers. They combine this with waste from medical blister packs, unused SIM cards, discarded fishing nets, and then use chalk filtered from drinking water. The waste they collect is then turned into new flooring, keeping materials in the loop and reducing the impact on the environment. As you can see, Transitioning to a circular economy offers us lots of new opportunities and the prospects of a better, more sustainable future.